are going to focus on color theory. Now, when we were in the art room, this might be a review because we have gone over it, but we learned about two different color groups. We learned about primary colors and secondary colors. So as a review, our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Now, these three colors are so important. When you have your primary colors, you can mix two of them together to create a new color, or what we call a secondary color. But the important thing to know is that you cannot mix two other colors to get a primary color. You just have to have red, yellow, and blue. You cannot mix to make these three colors. Now, if I were to mix red with yellow, I'm going to get the color orange. If I mix yellow with blue, I'm going to get green. If I mix blue and red, I'm going to get purple. Now, our project today is called Nature Drawing Color Bleeds. And so the first step that we're going to learn next is how to create a background. And it's going to look very similar to like a sunset. And then we'll be doing silhouettes on top of different plants and flowers. And these are called color bleeds because we're only going to be painting with our primary colors. So red, yellow, and blue. But we'll be leaving a little space in between each color, which you'll see next. And we'll be allowing water to bring those colors to mix or bleed together. So if you are ready to get started, I am so excited to be here joining me and I am so excited to start creating with you guys. Let's get started. We are going to begin painting with red in the top fourth of our paper. We wanna make sure that as you're painting, use a little bit extra water. That way it doesn't dry as quickly. Next, we're gonna skip a little bit of a space and we're gonna start with yellow, our second primary color. Again, make sure that we're using extra water so it just kind of stays as a puddle on the top of the paper. Next, we're gonna go in with our third and final primary color, blue. And this time it's going to be at the bottom of our paper, again, leaving another space in between the yellow and the blue. Now that we've laid down our three primary colors, I'm gonna go back to the red and add a little bit more magenta and red just to loosen up that water area again. And now I'm gonna go in with extra water and slowly bring that color down into the yellow. Doing the same thing, adding a little bit more yellow in that yellow and blue plain area. And I'm just slowly adding a little bit more water, letting the blue and yellow slowly start to mix together. Now, depending on the type of paper you have, this might work really fast, or like the paper that I'm using, I have to kind of help it out a little extra. But here, now you see the yellow and the blue are slowly bleeding together and creating a new secondary color, which is green. As you guys are creating the color bleeds, water is your best friend. If your paper is absorbing the water really, really fast, just keep adding 
a little bit extra and that's where the magic's gonna happen. That yellow is now slowly starting to mix with that blue and it's just creating some really beautiful magic. If you want your colors to be a little bit extra vibrant, it's okay to go in with a little bit more blue or a little bit more yellow. But really what we want is to allow the water to do the magic. You'll notice right here, I'm honestly just painting with water and I'm letting that red just bleed into the water and you'll watch as it's traveling now into the yellow. One thing to watch that I'm doing is I'm not over mixing. I'm just kind of bouncing the paint onto the surface. If I'm happy with the way that something looks, I'm not touching it again. Some of these areas on this type of paper are really becoming muted. So I'm just going back a little bit extra to add more color. But for the most part, I'm letting the water and the paint speak for itself. I don't need to overthink it. Just kind of let it be. Now that your background is dry, it's time to add our silhouettes. A silhouette is a dark shape or outline of an object. Now I've provided a nature design silhouette sheet if you wanted to look at that for inspiration or just make up your own. In this drawing, I am first going in with my Sharpie just to kind of draw the basic outline and then I will be filling it completely in. If you have black acrylic paint, you could also paint this instead of using a Sharpie. Whatever you have on hand is totally fine. As you are designing your composition for the silhouettes, be sure to leave some areas open to create unique lines and designs within the negative space. <laughs> 